YouTuber and welcome to America's Tall Ship, Coast Guard Cutter Eagle. Let's go check her out. Good day and welcome aloft on Coast Guard Cutter Eagle. My name is Chief Warrant Officer Spencer Greer and I'm the sailmaster on board. We are currently 65 feet above the deck on the main mast top platform. You might notice that we call Eagle a cutter, but she's actually not a cutter, it's a bark. A bark is any sailing ship with three or more masts that have square sails on their forward masts and four and aft sails on their aft. Eagle, a bark, has 23 sails, 10 are square, and 13 are four and aft sails. This is approximately 23,000 square feet of canvas, almost a quarter acre in size. Also of note, take a look at the hull of the ship. When the ship was built in the 1930s, arc welding was a new procedure, although not fully trusted. So when you take a look at the hull, you'll notice that it is both welded and riveted. They trusted weld welding enough to butt weld, but not enough to seam weld, so they riveted the remaining of the hull. I hope you have a great tour on Coast Guard Cutter Bark Eagle. Hi, I'm BM2 Ford. And I'm BM3 Rouse, and this is the Waste. This is where Maymast conducts its sail stations. And let's head up to the ring. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, I'm uh, CSD Ashmore, and this is the main galley on Coast Guard Cutter Eagle. It is one of three on board, and this is... I'm CSD McKinnon, and with the help of TDY support and permanent party cooks, we aim to feed 180 cadets, 60 permanent party crew members, three meals a day, including mid rats from mid watch. Thank you for uh, coming to the galley and I hope you enjoy the rest of your tour. Hi, I'm BM1 Jeff Quinn, four mast captain. I'm BM2 Janetti, assistant to main mast captain. And this is the Foxel. Foxel has come to our two anchors, each with 11 shots of chain. And they're always engaged. What's all this seaweed you see in the rig? Well, it's actually not seaweed. It is called baggy wrinkle. Baggy wrinkle is what we use to keep sails from rubbing or chafing against metal objects on the ship. It's like the steel cables or this radar shroud right here. What's a radar, you may ask? That would be the white and blue piece up here. That's used to see things that are far away from the ship or over the horizon. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Hi, I'm Y1 Nora, and I will be taking you on a tour of the Eagle's mess deck and one of the cadet birthing areas. So we are currently on the mess deck for Eagle, and this is where the crew and the four cadets eat. There are three meals that they're served, actually four, uh, but you guys will learn about that when you get on board. So. Normally we come in through this quick acting watertight door from the galley, come down here and maintain proper traffic patterns, right shoulder to the bulkhead the entire time. You'll be picking up your utensils, any uh, salad meals that you want, 
and whatsoever is provided, um, and then followed by the drinking stations all the way around. So we'll be following that up until you get to whatever uh, table you decide to sit at. And that's pretty much it for the, uh, the mess deck. So we're gonna now take a tour of one of the uh, contemporary areas. Follow me. Through here we have most of the cadet birthing areas, but I'll be showing you Denmark. Uh, all the birthing areas for the cadets are stacked three high. Um, you have curtains for privacy, uh, you have a locker for storage, and also if you need additional storage, each rack has storage inside. So prop it up like so, and you'll be able to uh, store more. Uh, more gear, so and that's about it for the uh, the mess deck and the birthing areas. Hello, I'm DC Free Benjamin Kale of North Coast Guard Federico. This is the DC shop where I work. Uh, we commonly have trainees down here working on uh, cadets, working on basic hose handling skills, anything that pretty much relates to shipboard firefighting, which is a lot different than any other type of firefighting because there's a lot more variables involved. We'll teach them about the smoking, the watering, uh, the PPE that's involved, personal protective equipment. And uh, this is also where lots of our actual shop work, so my job gets done. We've got our welders over on this side of the shop, and then on the other side of the shop over here is where we'll just use our hand tools, uh, do plumbing, fabricating, that sort of stuff. Um, anyways, that's my job. That's the one we teach the trainees here. Uh, thank you and enjoy the rest of your tour. Hi, good morning. I'm MK1 Leonard. And MK2 Sheffield. And right now we're standing in the machine shop, also known as the ARC shop. Uh, we pretty much grab all our tools and resources from this space and then we go out and work throughout the ship on uh, auxiliary equipment. Through this door here, if you follow us, mm -hmm. we're entering to the generator room. So this is our generator room. Uh, basically what these do is they supply power to the ship once we take it off the electrical short time. Um, we have two so we can switch between uh, one each day to keep the load off one or the other or uh, if we're running heavier equipment we'll run them both at the same time. This is where all the magic happens. Calls and all bells from the bridge here. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is our main. It is about two years old. Um, it's an MTU, which stands for Motor Turbine Union. Um, it goes, it, its max is around 2200 horsepower. We go about 12 knots um, at full speed. And there you have it. Is that, that's our engine room, generator room, and auxiliary machine shop. Compass check. Compass check out. Siri, 270, checking, 310. Hi, I'm BM3 Perez, and this is my shipmate. Stephen Howard, and here we have the helm for most of the ship's steering is done. And this is where we navigate and train new cadets when they come on board. We like to go different places. Sometimes we get to go cool places like Canada and Puerto Rico. Hope, Hope you, you enjoy your, your tour. tour. See, See you soon. soon. Greetings, I'm Captain Michael Turnup, the Commanding Officer of Coast Guard Bark Eagle. Welcome aboard. We hope that you've enjoyed your virtual tour so far. Right now, we're in the aft part of the ship, and I thought we'd take a moment to talk about the ship's history. Eagle was built at the Blumenbach shipyard in Hamburg, Germany in 1936. 
She was one of three tall ships built by the German Navy during World War II. The first, Gorschvach, was built in 1933. The horse vessel, which we're on, was built in 1936. And the Albert Leo Schlegeter was built in 1937. At the end of World War II, the United States took horse vessel as a war reparation and renamed her Eagle. Back here on this bulkhead, we commemorate every one of the cadet training cruises that Eagle has sailed beginning with 1946. We're going to take a walk back aft and talk a little bit more about Eagle's history. Hey, how y'all doing today? I'm SK3 James Scott on the Coast Guard Pedal Park Eagle. And the Eagle has had the honor and privilege of hosting many distinguished guests on board over the years. One of these distinguished visitors was a known writer and journalist, Alex Haley, author of The Roof Stop. Alex Haley served 20 years in the Coast Guard from 1939 through 1959 and retired with the rank of Chief Petty Officer in the Journalist Rating. Chief Haley sailed on the Eagle in 1972 and drafted some of the Roof's manuscript on board. The Coast Guard is proud of our veterans and alumni and recognized Chief Haley in 1999 by naming the 283 foot cutter after him, seal and service today in Kodiak, Alaska. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your time. You're now in the flag cabin. The flag cabin has been redone over the years. But as we walk back aft, we still have some of the original construction in the actual cabin itself. So all of this tiger maple wood that you see on the bulkheads is the original uh, from the ship's construction in 1936. A common question that we often get asked is, how did the Coast Guard wind up with the tall ship? And the answer is this coffee table. This coffee table was a gift from the King of Denmark and is a picture of the tall ship Denmark. Denmark was sailing around the world and in the summer of 1940 found itself in Jacksonville, Florida. With the outbreak of the war, the decision was made not to return to Europe and instead Denmark stayed in the United States. Beginning in the winter of 1942, Coast Guard Academy cadets trained on board Denmark from 1942 through 1944. Commander McGowan, who was on staff at the Coast Guard Academy at the time, spent his summers training on board with the Danish and the cadets. In 1946, he was chosen to be Eagle's first commanding officer and was sent to Germany to refit that boat and then sail it back to the United States with a half Coast Guard, half German crew. As we move forward to the wardroom, we'll see a plaque commemorating that maiden voyage with the names of all of those sailors. As the crew sailed back from Germany, annotated by this point here, they ran into a hurricane after a port call in, in Bermuda. The ship made it to port safely in New York, but she was tattered and in pretty bad shape. Immediately upon arriving in New York, the German crew members were removed from the ship and sent back to Germany. Here in the wardroom are the officers' mess. We have some photographs of Eagle, and one in particular I'd like to point out is this picture. That is horse vessel in Bremerhaven in 1946. That is how Commander McGowan found the ship. If you look closely in the background, you can see that Bremerhaven is completely destroyed by the Allied bombing campaign. So it really is amazing that the ship survived. The ship was pulled out and began repairs. And as mentioned, the crew consisted of a half, coast, half US Coast Guard and half German crew. Like any crew, over time, over the six months that it took to, to refit the ship and make her safe to sail back, the crews became very close. And it was a sad occasion upon returning in New York when the German crew was removed and sent immediately back. Commander McGowan captured this adventure in his memoir called The Skipper and the Eagle. On behalf of the entire crew of Eagle, we hope that you've enjoyed this virtual tour. And we look forward to having you back on board soon. Thank you. Thank you for coming and I hope you enjoyed our tour.